Welcome to MathCast Edition 2, Part 2 of 3, looking at what is an algae tile. In this edition, we'll be looking at Part 2, which is like and unlike terms, and how we can use algae tiles to illustrate this concept. So let's get started. So like terms will be represented by pieces of the same size. So if I have this expression 3x plus 4x, so now this says I have 3 of one object plus 4 of the exact same object. Now you can replace this with 3 apples plus 4 apples, 3 puppies plus 4 puppies. What we're interested in is that they are like or the same. So if I have 3x or 3 blue rectangular algae tiles, and to that I add another 4 blue rectangular algae tiles, my final result there is that I have seven blue algae tiles. Algebraically, it looks like this. So now let's look at another example, 2x plus 3x minus 4. So visually, right away, we can see there are some differences. First of all, we have x's in the first two terms, no x in the last term. The first two terms here are positive, the last term here is negative. So if I represent the 2x, Again, with two blue rectangular algae tiles. To that, I wish to add three more blue algae tiles. And now I'm going to represent the negative four with a different size because it's different than these ones. And also it's red because it's negative. So when I look at this and I count up what terms are like and unlike, I have five of the like blue rectangular algae tiles. So 2x plus 3x equals 5x. And then this negative 4 that's red and smaller does not combine and it sits over here by itself. Let's try something a little larger. Again, remember like terms will be represented by pieces of the same size. So when we look here we have x squared terms now, x terms, and just constants. So I'm going to let the x squared terms be represented by the largest of the algae tiles. So there's my 3x squared right there. To that I want to add 5x. So there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5x's. And I need a negative 2. So there's my first three terms. So to this collection of algae tiles, I want to add two negative x squareds. There they are. Three negative x's and five positive ones. And again, if we observe the zero principle and how the pairs cancel each other off, I am left with one x squared, two x's, and three positive ones. From the algebraic expression side, it looks like this. The 3x squared minus 2x squared leaves me with the 1x squared. 5x minus 3x leaves me with 2x. And negative 2 plus 5 leaves me with positive 3. So if you could pause the video now and try this question on your own, and then I will post the solution in a moment. So here we go. 2x squared, again, represented by the largest of the algae tiles, positive, so they're blue, plus 3x minus 7, so there's the first three terms, minus 4x squared, so four of those tiles, minus x, so I need one of these, and plus 3, and again, if I look what zero principle pairs cancel each other off, I'm left with a final result of two negative x squared tiles, two positive x tiles, and four negative one tiles. So my final result would be written this way, negative two x squared plus two x minus four. And that'll wrap this up. So thank you for your time. If you have any suggestions, questions, or concerns, please send an email to childs underscore math at yahoo.com.